we're now going to look at the cherry that sits on top of that delicious dessert, on top of all the cream. And this is celebrating reading. And the reason we leave this to last is because very often, lots of the discourse, as we said this morning, lots of the stuff that's around reading for pleasure or getting children reading, it's actually this. It's all the lovely, fluffy, fun stuff that's brilliant, but pales into significance compared to a really good teacher teaching a really good curriculum. So in the library, they had brand new books that were all displayed out the front and the children loved them. Then they had some older books that had been around for a while and the children didn't want to read them because they weren't whizzy and they weren't fun and they weren't exciting. They thought, well, actually, if they put them up, the words in there are pretty good. They're just not new. So what we'll do is um, we'll hide Willy Wonka-style golden tickets in some of our old books. So we'll hide these Willy Wonka tickets. If you find a book from the older bookstop with a golden ticket, you have to read the book. That says so on the golden ticket. Bring it to the librarian who will check that you've read the book, Alan in Wonderland. And um, if you can answer the question, you win a bookmark. Now, that's the most tiny thing in the world. For children, they were desperate to get a golden ticket first of all, and then to get a bookmark to say that they found a golden ticket, and then to sit next to someone in class and just show off their bookmark that they've got. Oh, got one of those. Um, another school in their library said, well, what we like is, is, is children to make recommendations. So we have a recommendation box. It's a big box that sits there. The child, if you read something that you really, really like, you write it down on a note, pop it into the box, and then when we um, come to choose new books to buy, we try and buy some of those recommendations. And if you choose a book and we take your recommendation, your book is a nameplate in the front of that library book saying it's you that chose it and when you chose it. So the other thing we do is once they've had a book nomination accepted, we get them up in a whole school assembly to talk about the book they've chosen. I said again, it's this amazing peer pressure thing when, you know, the year six basketball captain comes up and stands there with his book and says, oh, I chose this book from the library, I think it's really good. You can watch the whole of year three and go, I'm going to get that book, I'm going to get that book. Tom has chosen that book, that's going to be amazing. Lots of the schools we spoke to had um, reading buddies. So uh, it's where an older child goes and reads with younger children. And it was great. Year two got this benefit of having someone else kind of grown up who they looked up to coming to hear them read. They also noticed that there's a real benefit with year five because year five got to have to think about well, what makes a good reader and you know what am I looking for here and that's not applied to their own and also this sort of sense of responsibility. Maybe we should roll this out. So then they asked their year twos, seven year olds, to go down to reception. Thought, well, this is gold dust. Why don't we get reception to go down to the nursery and read with them? We were there on the day it happened the best thing I have ever seen in 50 years of education. In walk reception, about 15 feet high with this book. Scooped up a nursery child, sat them down, got this book to read to you. Often they couldn't read the book, don't get me wrong, but they could muster a story from the pictures and look like they were the expert. You know, how often do five-year-olds get to be the expert reader? What a brilliant thing for them to have. So if you're a reader of the half term in a particular year group, um, you win a prize, you get to come to reading camp. Reading camp happens on a Friday after school. So you go home, get changed, get, bring your pyjamas, you come back, and um, in the hall, we have pop-up tents and sleeping bags and hot chocolate. And we sit and we have hot chocolate and we have our things together and we listen to loads of stories, do loads of lovely games. Then you get to stay in the school hall in a tent with your friends overnight. Well beyond the call of duty.